How's that? Today is Sunday, uh, March 6th, and it's just deadlifting and benching today. I had a pretty good workout. I can see it there what I'm doing today is just 130 for 5.5 five, sumo and the 85 for 5.5 five, five is bench press. And then everything else after that was kind of just a lot of just extra um, accessory work that I, I don't normally do. But tattoo completed week one from the tattoo coming back from the tattoo I think I'm actually probably gonna start using the belt next week already I know I mentioned that I wanted to wait two weeks but I don't think that's super necessary so I'm I'm gonna just do what I think I can do I might not I might not cinch it all the way I'm just gonna see if I can get some some pressure <laughs> <laughs> um, today Alex and Audie were there in the gym with Liz and Amanda and it was just freaking crazy yelling kind of um, silly silly yelling uh, here's my first set uh, 130 the goal for this is to sort of progress for the next seven to six to seven weeks um, hopefully get up to about like a 160 165 um, top set of sumo for first for fives uh, I know that I am four weeks out uh, currently, like today, but the deadlifts kind of, they don't necessarily matter too much to my, my progress, I don't feel. Um, Steve, I mean, I agree with Steve. So Steve, Steve mentioned that and, and um, he said that if I could get to a, a solid set of five right before the meet, then that's, that's good. Um, it'll show that I have some postural strength that I didn't quite have. You know, in the last couple of months, but a couple of notes for today were on the way down, lower the weight so that um, I hinge at the hip to get to my knee, and then I bend my knees to get to the floor. And I wasn't able to do that really well until maybe the last set, maybe it was the fourth set, because I ended up sort of bending my knees and then hinging. It's like there, you see that? I'm I'm bending my knees first and then I'm hinging. This is the third set. So I I. I kind of didn't figure it out until it was basically at the end of the workout. So maybe next week, depending on how heavy I go, and if I do use the belt, then um, it'll be a little bit better. But I believe that it's a little better on here. So I hinge and then bend the knees. There you go. So this is probably the best set I did. This this or the fifth one. Um, again, I'm looking I'm looking pretty lumpy, you know. You know, um, Big Body Adi did say that, so I I'm gonna claim it today. Um, I was actually 163.8, I think, this morning, which is pretty heavy um, relative because I actually didn't eat a lot yesterday, and last night I did have my my stage, first day of um, sort of that working interview at Bisteka. I was dying yesterday. My knees were kind of creaking. They weren't sore, but my hips, like the internal hip, just felt terrible. Um, I was on my feet for seven and a half hours. Um, so I'm gonna need to, if I, if I, <laughs> if I, if I get that job, I'm gonna need to figure out how I'm gonna be able to manage this extra load while I'm still training. I did talk to Steve about that this more about that this morning, and I think I trust him, and so we're just gonna figure out the best way to move forward um, when it does come up. Because I know that I'm gonna need to to have some sort of income because <laughs> I have negative income right now, and it's it's really hard to do that. And yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for the opportunity to work there. I was very impressed with the way that everything was run. With the management, the kitchen, the kitchen staff specifically were were, were really they're on it, um, and yeah, I'm just excited. But yeah, here's my set of bench press. Uh, 85 is pretty easy for all of it, so I, I just kind of did them all, um, no real problems. Speed through the the pressing motion was was pretty solid. Positionally, it was pretty solid. Uh, nothing else to really much say about that. So after the bicep curl, I did some other movements that I don't actually normally ever do, except the back extension. I do back extension all the time. 
was the single arm overhead press, which I don't normally do. And then I did a dumbbell overhead hold, but just standing dumbbell overhead hold. I actually went a little bit heavier than I, I am capable of today. So I failed to get the thing over my head on the left side, which was not a good look. Everybody was looking at me. I was like, ah, fuck everything. My dignity just went right to the ground as I couldn't pick up the 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 dumbbell. Uh, so I stopped the video and then like I regrouped and then maybe like two minutes later I was able to do the left side and I was like, oh, here we go. Uh, no, I was able to do it um, and I ended up just doing one set because it was so it was so challenging and I didn't want to unload the weight. So some back extensions here. We're gonna have Alex's finger, <laughs> and then we're gonna have Brett with this sick angle. Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> uh, and then after that, I did some lunges, which I don't think I've done in years. This is really heavy because I was just really stubborn to to go and grab a dumbbell that oh, could have been lighter. So I ended up just doing three sets of eight. Overall, today's workout was pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I think it was a good one. Um, I, there's no pain anywhere. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Four weeks out. Shoots.